hello everyone. Uh, it's great to have you all here. Welcome to Management Development Institute of Singapore in Tashkent. Know that today's topic is uh, about the digital economy. Uh, it's about, about its impact, challenges, prospects, and what we can do. Can that be a solution for today's uh, very challenging uh, times and platforms? And I hope we can reveal the um, very essence of uh, digital economy and then really will get some, some, some new knowledge and uh, insights related to this topic. Well, now uh, we have several um, industries which were been hit very heavily and they are really suffering, screaming like uh, for, the, for, the, for some support and help from different um, uh, government organizations. Uh, so and now we are going to talk about the startuping in tourism uh, by Mr. Michael Shamshidev, who is a senior consultant at eastguideswest.com. He is also a co-founder of uh, getguide.us and he is the quite uh, famous blogger on, on tourism um, topics. So, uh, Mr. Shamshidev, please. Uh, good afternoon, distinguished organizers, participants, Speakers, uh, so I'm, I'm in tourism for the last 20 years and uh, this is uh, almost all my career is in industry. I started from, from tour operating, uh, from establishing a first online uh, portal uh, for Uzbekistan and Central Asia, for tourism in Uzbekistan and Central Asia, orexa.com. I think many people know it's still a famous resource. After I moved to consulting, to training in tourism, what I do now, but I also do uh, startuping because it's uh, it's like a source of in, in inspiration for me uh, and uh, how to say that di di direct linkage to the market, to to, to pain, to problems. Uh, and uh, uh, my topic is startuping in tourism. I I asked organizers to to change a little bit from from their proposal to provide uh, some talk about digital uh, transformation in tourism because digital transformation in tourism is the same like uh, like it was mentioned before the same like in other other industries uh, but uh, challenges in tourism now are are different because tourism is the least of most influenced uh, industries and uh, looking for some statistics, you can see that uh, it's like uh, 97, 98% of the same period of the last year at any country. What does it mean? Uh, and uh, the, 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 best, the best question would be, and who are the 2% who are still traveling? Uh, I could say uh, this is some people maybe the same like uh, myself because I'm also now not in Uzbekistan. I am in uh, St. Petersburg and I am stranded here because I was here uh, on 15 March when all borders were closed uh, and uh, flights canceled. So I think uh, that two and one and a half percent of tourists wo worldwide still traveling. This is the same people who are, uh, who are stranded in, in some countries. So for instance, I'm living in Airbnb. So I, I, I provide this statistic as well. My, my stay is is a part of the statistic. So, uh, according to that, we can we can say that tourism is totally killed now. So it's it's like on on its on its very zero because it's not possible to move and and movement from one place to another. It's a main feature. It's a main nature of tourism. But uh, what does it mean uh, for entrepreneurs and for young entrepreneurs for startups? This means that possibilities are just opening up now uh, because uh, I, I read a lot now and uh, participate in different international conferences uh, webinars and uh, uh, so uh, nobody can predict what will happen with tourism when it, it will start there are like different scenarios uh, most uh, most uh, optimistic uh, one one say that uh, tourism will start to recover maybe for from from 40 to 70 percent of 2019 uh, it will start to recover in uh, in 2021 only so nothing to 
nothing to expect this year, but at the same time, some tour operators are still working with requests and uh, uh, people are, some people, some foreign tourists, even uh, in those who are going to go to Uzbekistan now postponed their trips from spring season to autumn season and uh, tour operators are still working with that request. So uh, that just means that we, we don't have any Mm, any right to say uh, we will not have tourism this year. Uh, most probably some, some people will, will start to travel when, uh, when borders will, will open up again. Yeah? But uh, what does it mean for, uh, for young people, for entrepreneurs? Uh, first, the nature, uh, the nature of people is uh, people like to travel. And uh, especially after a long time being, uh, being locked in their homes, in the places, uh, people will start to travel again. Uh, there are some, uh, some forecasts that uh, most of people, of course, we know it as well, because uh, what we are thinking about when we go first, we go first outside the city, yeah, uh, in our place. So domestic tourism will rise um, much more, uh, on much more bigger rate than before. For Uzbekistan, it's a great news because uh, the government, uh, Goscom Tourism, uh, all are trying to develop domestic tourism. L last year, so we, we can see it on, on some social, uh, advertising, billboards everywhere. Uh, so people, uh, people will start uh, travel locally. This is the, the market number one. Uh, international travelers uh, will also carefully start to travel, uh, but the, those early adopters who will, who will again go for a long distance, they will be, they will be different because uh, as, as it was mentioned several times today, the world will never uh, be the same uh, and travel, travel behavior will change. So it will be uh, mainly solo travelers, individual travelers that, uh, that are traveling in, uh, in their own program, not organized ones. Uh, there will be different other features like, uh, so, uh, like a distancing, no, no big groups, uh, uh, just uh, bigger attention to medical, uh, medical uh, like healthcare point of tourism. Uh, for Startuppers again, it opens a new possibilities. So uh, I think my time is uh, is finishing soon. What kind? Because uh, I was asked to provide uh, <laughs> uh, my speech in ten minutes. Uh, what I can uh, say as a message to uh, to the students, to those who I, I know, many many of you guys are planning to do something in tourism because. Uh, first of all, uh, your, your university is a university of service. I have provided master class over there. I know auditories. Uh, uh, so uh, you have to move your, um, your attention now from, uh, from tourism in its regular, uh, regular understanding, like organ organizing tours as a travel agency to, uh, to start uppers mind. Uh, and look, for any for any idea idea any hypothesis now to to do something new there are a lot of examples already worldwide if you if you search if you will uh, subscribe for some in, interesting international groups and facebook everywhere uh, you can see that people are already starting starting to create new new tourism new environment so uh, they are doing some uh, sometimes it's like a funny things like um, uh, or like uh, life life uh, excursions or something like this, which is not actually monetizing, but those guys who do it, uh, who are trying to do at least any step now when the whole tourism industry is blocked and people people sitting and they don't know what to do, uh, only con they are dealing only with cancellations now. Uh, for those who want to to start now. Uh, look for any opportunity. Uh, go to your go to your street. Go to your town. Uh, look for anything which could be attractable for for tourists. And uh, uh, believe me, uh, we have a lot in Uzbekistan. Not only monuments. Uh, we have a lot of cultural things, natural things. 
uh, people are a big issue, yeah, which is uh, always, uh, always like a, a hidden for tourists because uh, of language barrier. So uh, try to try to like uh, ideate any kind of hypothesis that this product could be interesting and go like usually startups go. Don't try to to establish a business immediately. Uh, try to set some MVP. I think uh, people know uh, here in this auditory what MVP means, uh, minimum viable product. Try to do something uh, with your own ha hands, like Facebook page or, or some primitive landing page, and try to test your idea. Uh, you, you have no chance and will not have a chance for several months to try it with real tourists, but try it with uh, with your friends, with somebody from abroad who, whom you can ask how, like, ask some questions. How do you find this idea? Will, would you like to use this, that in, in the future? So this is a time for experimenting. And experimenting, uh, this is the main, uh, the main feature of any startup. Uh, those points that were um, displayed to us by Yulia Paramonova, uh, this is like a, like a classical uh, startup model, but before you will, uh, you will attract some funds uh, and uh, re register some company, uh, you have to create a prototype of some service, uh, which is 100% uh, will be digital because uh, no, st no startup in no nowadays, uh, uh, like we can't uh, imagine any startup which is not digitalized, yeah? Uh, it's digitalized by, by nature. So, but try to create some prototype uh, based on very uh, accessible technology, uh, social media, uh, primitive website, uh, of course, uh, some direct uh, direct contacts and uh, uh, testing MVP. And uh, uh, by the end of this crisis, you will already, you have a chance to have some, uh, some half done product that you can, start with in a new tourism reality with which will will start most probably next year but this is a good time for pre, to prepare yourself for for so call it experience economy because now uh, the transformation is already on for 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 a long time we still in a, in transformation we are i mean in post soviet space we are still in in the point of transformation from product uh, economy to service economy. But we have to be aware that in tourism, we are in international space. Our tourists they are from different reality. And uh, uh, most of them are from the world where uh, transformation from service to experience economy is on now. It's not depending to, to last situation with pandemic, uh, COVID-19, it's it's um, like maybe last 10 years uh, trend yeah so but we are still in that reality but now it's a refreshing uh, time uh, uh, like uh, for for many uh, for many and uh, also uh, uh, there there will be a space new space because not all existing company will survive in this situation so the uh, the space the new space will be created and, the, and you can go over there. Uh, I think it's time for me to, to, to finish. Uh, again, I, I would like to invite everybody to, to contact me directly for any kind of mentorship in, in startup, in tourism. This is my passion. I, I would try to do a, anything possible. My name is Michael Shamshidov, and you can find me through my Telegram channel for tour business, uh, Tourism All. Uh, thank you. Uh, Good luck in, in your startup endeavors. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's that's great. That's great that um, you can you can benefit somehow at least with advices that was very important for for for, for students who are just graduating, and uh, especially in this field. And, and and also we like talking from the from the behalf of the university. I can say we have uh, in tourism field. You 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 probably know very well that we are quite. 
uh, doing a lot in this field. We have the whole school, we have uh, two um, important majors in, in tourism, and we have the Innovation Center. And at all, at all of these people, specialists, future specialists, they are now probably uh, are, are having a huge task how to cope with the current situation in tourism field and also it's as you mentioned i agree it's it's a, it's a, it's a it's an opportunity because now we can uh, a lot of people will leave the tourism business i guess and that's the time to to move on and step on and then do 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 do, do, do those um implement those ideas which you have so i i i urge you not to leave behind the, this field this this uh sphere so everything we hope yeah we are optimistic so that it will be